Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you Ottawa and dynamic filter effects in Reaper. Now I have a track set up here with a guitar going to the input of this track. Let's see what it sounds like. Now I want to create a wah effect on the guitar. So we're going to do that using an EQ as a filter. So let's go right here. Go to the Reaper plugins and choose Re-EQ. Now we don't need all five bands, so let's delete a few. We're just going to use two bands for this. Now in creating a wah effect, you want to make an EQ or a filter that's very peaky sounding, and then modulate it or move it to create that wah effect. So we're going to start off with a low pass filter, like this. So it's going to cut out all the top end right here and boost the mid range, which we could adjust with the bandwidth right here. The more we move it to the left, the more peaky it's going to sound. Let's hear it. Now in doing this, the bandwidth brings up the volume, so it's very easy to distort it. So we'll make up for it by bringing down the gain. Now we can adjust the frequency right here or from here. And that creates a wah effect. Now we also want to do is cut out the low end right down here. So we'll use this band as a high pass and cut out the low end. Right about there should do. Bring the gain down a bit more. Let's make it a bit more peaky right over here. Now how we set this is going to change based on the input. Different sounds and different effects that you want are going to change your needs. Now we want to modulate this to create an auto wah effect. So we'll choose this parameter, go up here to the menu, and choose parameter modulation. If you notice up here, it says last touched, frequency low pass. That's why we touch this. By touching this first, it's going to default to that parameter, and we can turn on parameter modulation right here. Let's float this plugin to make it smaller. And let's also get rid of the tabs, make it easier to see. Then over here, we're going to turn on LFO, which is a low frequency oscillator that's going to modulate that frequency, creating the auto wah effect. As you can see, it's already doing it, but it's moving too far. We can control it by adjusting the baseline. And the strength. The strength decides how far it moves, the range. So if we bring it down, it doesn't move as far. But the baseline kind of offsets it, making it a bit higher in the frequency range. Around here is what we want. We could also adjust the speed right here. We can go faster. And using the baseline, we can make it higher or lower in the frequency range. We 
could also have it lock to tempo by choosing it right here. And also change the shape from sine wave to maybe a square wave or a saw wave, which moves in one direction. Or the opposite way. Or even choose random. But to create a more dynamic effect, let's set this up as a dynamic filter. So we'll turn off the LFO so it's no longer an auto wah. And let's choose this instead audio control signal. Let's move this over here. Now what's going to happen is the frequency is going to change or modulate based on the volume of the guitar. So we'll choose the input right here, input one and two, which is our guitar, and we'll make our adjustments to tweak our sound. Now the most important parameter is this one right here, minimum volume. That's kind of a threshold for the effect. Check it out. It's kind of like a sensitivity control. Then we can adjust our baseline to offset it. We could adjust the attack and the release, which will make it react a lot quicker. That's pretty sensitive. Let's put these back to the default. And again, it's going to change based on the part you play. And we could change the bandwidth by holding down shift and moving it from the left to the right to make it sharper. or more broad. Now the strength control decides how far it moves. So right now it's moving pretty far, but we can contain it by adjusting this. or bring it up to make it wider. Now right now, it's responding to the volume. So the louder the guitar, the more the frequency moves to the right. But we can reverse that right over here. Change it to negative. And now the louder the guitar, the more it's going to move to the left. Creating a very different effect. Let's hear it with faster notes. Versus positive. It's a 
pretty cool effect, and it's very dynamic, as it's based on the volume of the instrument, in this case the guitar. Now keep in mind, we could do this on any instrument. You could use a drum loop, an organ, even a vocal. We're just doing it now with guitar. So anyway, that's Ottawa and dynamic filter effects in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!